afternoon from Stanmore Bay Reserve. This is Peter Bogue bringing you coverage of the first round game in the Shaman Cup Reserve grade for 2017 between High Viscous Coast Raiders and East Coast Bay's Barracudas. The uh, referee for today's game is Brent Newton. Teams have tossed and looks like um, East High Viscous Coast are kicking off from uh, right to left. So first game of the season, the ground is in quite good condition here at Stanmore Bay Reserve. Yes. Yeah. 
Case Grace comes away with number four. Number four takes it up to the halfway line. Oh, so we're going to see the referee some more from the grandson. So we'll take it right on side now. And number three and high is sort of tackled by number two on it. Goes over the top and misses it and gets away. Gets up, plays the ball. Ten metres inside the uh, five is half, then knocks the ball on. So early news for both teams at this stage. A lot of knock-ons and not concentrating on the uh, ball. See the kicker from the uh, water boys and coaches standing out in front. Comes in, has a shot, away it goes to the left hand side of the post. Number 12 it is, it's, uh, it's worth a try. No, it's a good try. Had the attempt at conversion. So 10 points to nil after 13 minutes gone in this first half here at Stanmore Bay in the reserve grade. Down the cup game. Slow there, and not a boy anymore. Been around for a couple of years. See if he's paid to for East Coast Bay. East Coast Bay is scored in this game. Three minutes gone. Yeah. 
field, goes to the left hand side of the post. So. So, 20 minutes into this uh, first half here, we have the score at uh, High Vistas Coast Raiders, the uh, host side, leading by 14 points to nil. East Coast Bay is yet to uh, look like attacking when they did attack, but they uh, got scored again, so the coach boys. probably wouldn't be happy about that. Lift your heads up, be proud, redeem. Come on! Come on! Come on! Through the middle, poor tackle there by the East Coast players, two players, and uh, 30 gets it 11 metres inside the East Coast players' half. They're on attack again. Number seven with the ball for High Viscous Coast takes it up the middle and uh, caught in a tackle. And it's, uh, goes to Brown. 30 metres from the uh, try line, but uh, loses the ball on the uh, tackle there. We'll come back and have a scrum. Enterprise and football by the high side there. Scrum three days. Turning the bench into attack on two occasions now. Some streaming down here at uh, Stanwell Bay Reserve. I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world. Seven to feed the ball. This goes base, comes out right hand side this time. We've got Two on the three there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One way, but never mind. Number 15 to get up and play the ball. Second effort. Second effort says Mr. Newton will have a penalty to East Coast Bays now. 22 gone this first half now. Seven, a long pass out, and this that pass by the Hogus this case, they need to uh, settle down, uh, just those days, they sort of give you a chance, to, when they do have possession, they get them away, but uh, here we go, the Hogus this case again, looking back to uh, pass it, good offload out the back, and it's going to be picked up by the uh, number 11, who feeds off the number 15, 15 comes up the middle, good play by the Hogus this case, uh, once again, turning the defence into an attack, a few brains out there, 12 of the ball now, comes up towards the middle, takes it up towards the 40. Get back on time! The lost ball then, but the referee says so. He's dealing with the ball, a little offload out of the fat. No referee says it's not on this time. Lost control. Thank you. 
understand more by Tom Cruise. For some reason, we're waiting for a two boy to come out. Scored the try there in the middle. Twelve, I think it is, with the, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, conversion attempt, but a weight of the right hand side then. What he meant to say is get behind your loose forward, you know, it says in the rule book, but he'll get the message after. Ball goes away left hand side to the uh, to East Coast base, they come across paddock again and draw it back as they haven't made any yards at all. They take a left hand side to bridge number eight, he takes it up, he takes it inside the field now. Number 13 for the ball, a little fella. Not much of him, but he gets his heart. They come out right hand side with number 15. He's brought to ground about 8 metres out from the try line. What can they do? Can they score a try in our East Coast Bay? No, we'll go left hand side again. And we're going to get a penalty against the uh, Ibis Coast Coast players. Seven decided to go the other way. 
We've got a penalty right in front for uh, the away side. Take the little tap, number 10. Thinks I'll go by myself. I don't need the rest of the fellas. And uh, gets caught down, three metres short of the line. So can they score a try this time? No, they're going to knock it on. The ball gets knocked on. Hi, Mr. Scales. Say, say thank you very much. We'll pick it up and uh, we'll have the scrum and take it away from there. Probably about five minutes. Both teams trying to find their way in this, uh, this competition in the Shami Cup Reserve. Uh, Moses is making the most of it. When they've got the ball, they do something with it. The positive and uh, beat it out. They've got two teams that scored twice so far. Eleven to feed the scum for uh, High Biscuits. Comes out the back of the second row there, and it's uh, clear, says the referee. So bring it out. We're going to be driven back by a couple of the uh, East Coast players. That player. so number eight's in there again. Good solid player. We'll be looking more for uh, players like him, I would say. Take it right again, and it's getting uh, on the ball fairly. There's number. Nice pass to number two inside, and two race away left hand side. Chased heavy in pursuit by um, number two and nine from East Coast Bays, but he scores to the left hand side of the post. Uh, Kimmy's in from touch, so another try just before half time. So uh, nice play by uh, Five Bishops Coast, using their winners, as I said. Temple conversions, he's had uh, two attempts and uh, was one without success. So it's number 12 to uh, attempt the conversion, as I said. Better luck this time, but no, way to the right hand side. Got plenty of distance, but the uh, direction is slightly off. So 22 0 uh, for 38 minutes gone in this first half. East Coast Bays will be really wanting the uh, half time uh, whistle to go. Trailing by 22 points to nil. <coughs> Both sides actually, I don't, not many I recognise at all. I've been around for two or three years. Come on, gentlemen! On your kick out! Seven kicks off, and I think it's uh, the wingers offside out here. So, uh, sort of mistake, you know. It's, uh, Leaving their own grave here by silly mistakes like that. So East Coast, Ibis's Coast come away with time to score another try. He's <laughs> gone a touch over there. Bang your hair, bang, bang your hair. Watch me. Come to the two. Yes. On you, watch me attack. Go on. So take it up towards the uh, 20 metres inside the East Coast Base half. Number eight with the ball now. It comes up with a seed and uh, pushes a couple of East Coast Bays one of the tacklers off. Comes out to number 11. 11 feeds out. Nice little feed out to the left hand side. But in the field by, um, knocked forward by East Coast Bays. Number 13 comes away. Steps to the left. Steps to the right. Passes two players. Comes up towards the middle. He's about five metres short of the line now. Which side are they going to go? Going back to the bigger boy. It's, um, and uh, Hyper Cisco is just underneath the post there by the big fella coming through. I think it's number 10. There is the try 
try and score. Big boy, got a weight behind him, two metres in the line, hard stop. So 39 minutes and a half. to uh, attempt the conversion right in front. He hasn't had a lot of success so far. He's um, no pressure course as referee. So he's had three attempts and yet to get one. This is his fourth attempt and we'll see what he does this time. But who's ready to go? Comes in and kicks. Uh, one out of one. So uh, they go ahead by 28 points to zero. <laughs> After 40 minutes of uh, football here at Stamble Bay Reserve in the Shaman Cup Reserve Trade competition, so we'll be back after half time. Yeah, back to the, the second half, we're underway with East Coast Bay's kickoff. And, uh, as I said before, at half time, the score is 28 0 to the High East Coast Raiders. Big plus by number. So early penalty to uh, Ibisus Coast, 30 seconds into the uh, second half. Simple try, man beat, uh, ball beats a man every time. They fit it out to their winger, number two, and he comes through and uh, scores just uh, inside the uh, corner post there. Coast comes in and kicks. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. the referee, so we don't know. It's a uh, yeah, no. Nah. So it's that number 12 and uh, misses the kick. So uh, one out of five. Doesn't have to. The rest of the guys are scoring all the tries. Yeah, back against the wall at the stage. 
charge. Come on! I need to kick out. Kick is good. Get up, get up! Full of that seat up! Five with the ball, keeps it on for his uh, number eight. Number eight comes through and that's it. Oh, no! Check all 28 minutes out from his own line. Oh, no! Coming up, oh, no! that's number four. Yes. Again, out to number nine, the hooker, out to the fullback. Fullback comes to the line nicely, and uh, he's caught eight metres short of the halfway line. A knock on there by uh, Miss Case. So, uh, this case players have been uh, wanting to uh, use something with the ball this time. And, uh, from the scrum. Haven't had a lot of success in the first half. In the first Five minutes of the second half when they get the possession and been giving it away, so so they can hold the ball. Hope it's the case. On the other hand, they're doing a, a good job for their first game up. Yeah, that's right. Second in. Lock in. Yeah. Hold. Let's get that in again, gentlemen. Come out the side. He's getting in. Very caused by the. Lock in, gentlemen. This case. Comes out left hand side, number 13, 13, uh, oh, no. runs it up, and oh, it 11 metres inside the uh, hibiscus hut, they come out left again, number 4, number 4 cuts back down and uh, oh, offloads out to his number 2, number 2 going to go through with it, and takes on a prop there and a second rower. Seven with the ball now, comes out. They cut back inside again. That's one off running. It's not doing any good. Probably better to try the high biscuits for the and uh, passing out, getting in the wingers to do the work. Going through the middle, some big boys in the field. Uh, high biscuits coast. The uh, number eight with the ball now gets up and plays it. Number two with the dummy half goes out to number nine and uh, feeds it on to number one. Hey! Final tackle called by the referee Newton. A little kick back. Tries to flick it back inside and uh penalty. No no no. It's here. Are you watching me, okay? You kicking? Three takes it away, five or six goes, takes it up towards the halfway line, and takes it seven metres short of number four and down the arms. You good now, Joe? Feeds it out to number nine, nine on to eight, a quick pass out to number 12, and it comes away with it, and uh, what happens there is uh, the ball's um, back to zero.
five. Good on good side for our float in this five viscous side. They've uh, sort of got all the confidence in each other and the, the backup's there and the way it goes and it's number one shooting away for the try and nobody's gonna catch him and he's gonna go towards the line and down it goes. So uh, puts the old hand in the air, a bit of danger for the hand here to uh, Going to score the try, make sure you're down first and then put it in. But another four points on the board for Hibiscus Coast, nine and a half minutes into the second half. So this is their second try in the second half. Takes them ahead to 36 yes. points to nil. Now they need to get to the no nines, that's the only difference. Try score number one for uh, Hibiscus Coast. This team is made up from three different clubs that come up to the Hibiscus Coast this year, and it's um, good to see they're still playing rugby league, whereas maybe um, a few of them have got by the wayside. It's, uh, strength at Hibiscus Coast Raiders and uh, strength in rugby league as a whole. Number 12. Uh, is in, uh, Third kick of the day that's gone over. No. Second. Centre's is not that good, but a team that's scoring that many tries, it doesn't have to be that good. He'll come back and do some more training for next week. And uh, in the tight game, they'll uh, put themselves in front because of him. So we have, uh, have 11 minutes in the second half, and uh, 38 points to nil. The uh, host side, leading East Coast Base and just down the road. A bit of rivalry between these two clubs, uh, as we know, because they're pretty close in the middle, but they all get on. East Coast Base kick off now, number seven goes down and another time. But they've got the uh, player in front. Yellow boots. And he's whacking the wrist, he's got to stay back. No, no, yellow boots. On your end. For you. Silly play by the uh, number five. Number two, number two. This man will be kicking himself. Do you to be replaying the game ends quickly and get on to next week's game. Hibis is kicking into touch. 15 metres inside the East Coast Bay's half. Here we are, gentlemen. Back to the top. Nine with the ball, feeds it out to 12. And a kicker and uh, he's been brought down. Takes a good yardage there, gets up and plays the ball. Comes out right hand side to number 13. 13, a good run of the ball every time he's picked up the ball today. He's That's two! Straight to nine. Comes out right hand side, goes out to number 10. Number 10 in the top. Takes it to the He's had a good game. Uh, Today, number 10 for Hibiscus. They come right again, going for the end. Bastard throws the dummy. And number four, he just shoots through the big gap that opened up in the middle right under the post. And so number four is in for his first try. Number four, that's his first try. He offloaded the four in the first half, but set another man up getting the try. But, uh, Good effort by the number four. Looks like the East Coast Bay is uh, the fence in there quite easily. Through two dummies and uh, scores underneath the post. Takes him out to a 42 point lead. What a please, boss. Twelve's been given the chance again to uh, Thank you, buddy. prove his success rate. Right? This time, right in front of the post, and over she goes. So that's uh, three he's got. This is his third kick of the day. Forty-four and all the uh, home side, Hibiscus leading East Coast Base, and just down the road. Go 
This is bringing it away, take it out to the 30 metre mark in your own half. Goes out to number nine, throws a dummy, gets through, and uh, he's walked down. 32 metres out from his own line, and four and a dummy half again. Ball goes out, the left hand side open, passed out there, and the right hand line was the referee for a forward pass. So uh, I'll come back and have another scrum. So. Thank you. 
Two ladies off. Run for the lock, run for the lock. Forward! Flag comes off, they say a concussion or something. Anyway, we ball in and out for East Coast Bay to come away with it and uh, Help we're up to the halfway line. Nobody's helping out there from uh, East Coast Bay. It's about a little my zone. Number four goes in. He'll have a little run by himself and uh, he's going to be brought down just inside the uh, high business half. Number 10 with the ball for High Viscous, takes it up the middle and he's brought down 12 metres. Um, trying to safeguard these players from having problems and if there's any risk at all involved we need to take them off. As a matter of fact, make sure it's um they want to say they want to out because they want him to stay in the paddock and uh Mr. Newton has called time in the game, 26 minutes into the half. For an injury back by an East Coast Bays player. He's <laughs> been a slap on the face, he was up. This is Chief, he's an opposition mate, and uh, he needs to be up and away. <laughs> but interesting to say, I'm just hearing what the people are saying on the sideline. If there's any hint of uh, a concussion, we uh, have a rule with the Norfolk Rugby League and, uh, and New Zealand internationally that uh, we must take these players off. And, uh, Take the rough bit and sort of it out. It has. Um, Come on, boys, get your hands up. It's about the safety of the players. So, in Hyvis's case, coming away with 11 metres short of the halfway line. Look at the ref. Move up that line. Don't work him. Look at the ref. Hyvis gets a play, gets up and plays it now. Number nine. First time I've seen him kick the ball, I think. First or second half, anyway. This goes Bay's come away with it. It's going to call it up. There's three big players there in front of him, so he's brought down. 25 metres out from his own line. Number five in the dummy half. We'll try and pick the ball up and give him a little scoot. He goes up the 30 metre mark and he's brought back. Line down, line down. And that's real good as with the ball for East Coast Bay's, and he tries to take it up, and he's driven back by the heavy defence of the. Uh, Hibiscus with Coast, four with the ball now for East Coast Bays, having a run up the middle, they're coming up towards halfway. And he's brought down, too high. Also referee. Seven to uh, take the penalty kick. Position to see what goes out just before the um, a meter short of the try line. There's only one person would really see that. In that position would be the referee. He's right there. Seven to uh, take it up. The free kick. Yeah, to number eight. Number eight has to go against the line. Off way on to number two. Number two is uh, taken down five meters short of the line now. Can they score? Can they? Uh, Put some points on the board, East Coast Bay. So going through, and it's uh, no, that's fine. That's it's fine, says the referee, and I think it's number two, six, nine, number nine, I think. I think it's number six for East Coast Bay that scored the try, first try of the game. 68 minutes into the game, East Coast Bay decides they'll have a uh, shot at scoring some points. Number 
plus 6 to uh, the 10th of the conversion. And the strikes the ball nicely, says the referee, and uh, one up and one down. So, uh, <laughs> so the referee was happy. One up, one down. It is the referee's choice, and he was right behind, and he feels it went over the post. So, uh, six points on the board for his coast base. And that is the rule, if there's one up and one down, the, uh, the referee decides whether it's over, and in his opinion, and we dropped over that little white bar, six points, so we have 30 minutes gone, the second half, Ibis's Coast, the home team, leading by 44 points to six. It's uh, the team with the ball now, brings it up to his first base. Oh, yeah, left hand side there. 16 goes with the ball, has a head up and brings it out 24 metres short, out from their own line. The dummy half goes number two, he offloads it to number 13, 13 through with it, brings it 30 metres out from their own line. Can they put things together again, East Coast phase, or not again, can they put things together? No, they can't. They lose the ball, and number seven says thanks very much for Hyvis the Coast, I'll run it up the middle and takes it. 22 metres inside the East Coast Bay's half. The five comes out with a winger, uh, out to number one who was running for the last pass and didn't get it. But he's got it now and he goes towards the line, he's brought down. Coast with the uh, penalty kick here. Referee says no quick runs within that 10. He has to be in position too, of course, but that's what it's about. 17 with a ball now, flicks it out to his uh, outside player. That's number 13, I think it is, and it's um, scored in the left-hand corner. Nice soft try to number 13 for Hybris' Hi Coast. 13. So 13 scores his... Um, His second try of the day. After 31 minutes in the second half. So about nine to go, and uh, I think there's one side out there in green and black would be wanting the full time to go, whistle to go. from the kicker there, I think it's uh, number 17, I guess. Where are you? Yeah, number 17, the attempt on conversion, hit the uh, left hand upright there and away, so it goes ahead, hit the go ahead by 48 points to six. Players again being told off by management to uh, sit themselves down. <laughs> and that's right, uh, that's their job, and, uh, to keep these players sitting down so they don't interfere with play. Seven kicks the ball off East Coast base, goes back to the uh, try line there, and it's going to be brought out by number 10, I think it is, 15. 15 takes it out to the uh, 25 metres out from his own line. Number four in the dummy half, feeds it down the right hand side to. Again and they're going to be caught. Five is going to be caught. 15 metres short of the halfway line. Number four in a dummy half again. Fix it out the right hand side. A nice little pass, a nice take by the uh, by the number 18 and uh, number five sort of knocks it forward. Uh, hard luck. Pat each other on the head and say uh, hard luck fellas. And, Three so goes space with another chance from the scrum to be able to put themselves on attack. Having trouble. 
all day for uh, 74 minutes. He says now, say, seven to feed the scum for uh, East Coast Bays. And, uh, yeah, it's in sort of an out. Goes out to number five, and he's brought down three metres, two metres inside the focus is half, seven and dummy half, out to number 13, a gutsy little uh, stand, uh, loose four there, he's away and up the middle there, off loads out to number five, but five can't take it, seven goes in, picks it up, and we're going to have another scrum with a uh, high distance coast Raiders uh, feed. We're going to try and look at a bit of enterprise happening there. Yeah. I don't suppose that Sean Carey, uh, the next Kiwi, would be, uh, who's the coach of the East Coast Bays team, we're very happy to talk to the devil. He's uh, just here yeah, now, changed some looks a little bit over the last few years, but uh, longer in the hair, but, um, and the tooth. Number 13, away with the ball again. He's a good run of the ball, this guy. He's had a good game. Hard to bring down. Got it five metres short of the halfway line. They take it out right hand side to number seven. Out to number 16. 16 brings it up the middle, fiends off one, fiends off two, and he uh, tries another one. And well, well tackled by number 11. Five away with the ball down now on the right hand side. He gets away from number four. No, he's a no. He puts the ball off the up uh, on the ground, up the ball, carrying the ball wasn't on the ground, so perfectly legal. Four with a dummy half. Comes out the right hand side to number 11. Number 11 flicks it on to number 7. 7 out the left hand side to number 9. And an intercept pass. And all this guy from East Coast Bays had the pace to go. It's number 11, I think. No, got to use numbers, eh? It's too fast for the camera. So a nice little intercept by the uh, East Coast Bays player there. So it makes them up to double figures, perhaps, yes. 10 points on the board. It's number 16. So uh, a nice intercept by these guys players. So there is a little bit of talent there for Sean Carey to work on for next week, and uh, he'll be quite pleased about that. No, he's number 15, not 16. So it was 15 that scored the try, and uh, the ball goes over the conversion, which I missed. By number six. So another two points on the board, so they're going to score that 12. So 48 12 with three minutes to go in this second half at the Stanwell Bay Reserve for the Sharma Cup Reserve Bay game, first of the round, 2017. Presumably he knocked it towards his own goal line, which doesn't, doesn't constitute a knock on. Dummy half goes uh, number six. Comes out with his close base, trying up in the middle now with number 16. Put that along with number 10. Because the uh, East Coast Bays are taking not eight metres inside the high viscous half now. Number seven onto uh, a reserve player there. Green, perhaps. Goes out in 15. Uh, 15 is the try scorer for uh, the intercept try scorer. Has another go through the middle. His tail will be up, up a bit. Nine and dummy half. Out to number seven. Can they score again? No, we'll kick it ahead and we've got to beat it to the dead ball line, which we can't. So uh, this is number seven for his case players. About a minute left to go here at uh, Stanley Bay Reserve. The score of 48 12. Hibiscus with the ball. Number 13 brings it out. He's had a top game. Number 13 is Ford. Ford 
with a ball, feeds it out to the right hand side. It's uh seventeen it was, and of course it took four of them to take it down, but these big holes in their back line there. Number one, the fullback uh, to get up and play the ball, and the dummy half is number four, he scoots up the middle of the park and feeds it out to his left hand side to number nine, and nine feeds it out to the fullback again, the fullback straightens up, goes through the middle, they won't catch him in, yes they will, no they won't, because he goes, throws the dummy, sucks the ball in and scores under the post. So a good try for number one, that's his, um, that's his third try, he's got a hat trick today, number one. Right on time, the hoot is just gone, so uh, So a nice try by number one, as I said, that's his hat trick for the day, so uh, a couple of them got hat tricks, I think it is, for uh, Hobbes' case. Number four is the other one with the... Uh, the hat trick, uh, no, he's got four. Oh, and the uh, number seven, eleven, has a shot at the post, and uh, from right in front, it hits the left hand, left hand upright and can't get it over. So they take their score to 52 points to uh, 12. From right in front. So that's um, a good effort by Hibiscus Coast, played good open football, feeding the ball to their wingers all day long. East Coast Bay is on the other hand, trying to take it up the middle and uh, didn't have any success at all. They scored a couple of tries in the second half, but uh, one from an intercept and one the other one was um, a different sort of a try as well. So uh, that's it from uh, Hibiscus Coast, Stanmore Bay. The um, Hibiscus Coast Raiders coming out winners by 50 points. 52 points to 12 over East Coast Bay. So uh, that's it. Peter Bogue wishing you a very good afternoon.